Joined on the main stage now by Sefton Hill from Rocksteady Studios, the grand architects of the Batman Arkham series. And you are taking Batman into VR now. Yeah, super excited to be able to bring people to actually be the Batman, to actually be in that world and see it all around Seth them. and I am going to be Batman in VR. I know, I know. Seth and I'm slamming on this table. <laughs> this is amazing. Yeah, it's, it's really, it is a really kind of emotional experience. You know, it uh, still gives me goosebumps, goosebumps when we play it. You know, yeah. so you go in, you suit up, you become Batman, you put the cowl on and you see yourself in the suit, look at yourself. Show yourself the gauntlets, it's kind of crazy. When people first look in a mirror and see Batman looking back at them, mm. how long do they just pose in that mirror? Do you know what? It's quite funny because we get, <laughs> we get people drop into two fairly distinct groups. You get the people who pose and they're just like chest out, and then you get your dancers. Like people yeah. who like to dance with Batman. I don't know why that is, just but like, that's our two do what groups. I want now, Batman. That's right, yeah, yeah, just kind of hands out and yeah. So this has got to be cool for you guys because you, you have been working with Batman for so long. You've been working yeah. on the Arkham games for, for a while now. And this has got to be such a cool opportunity to come at it from a new direction and kind of switch it up. Yeah, I mean, that's, that was the thing that really attracted us to it because when we finished Arkham Knight, we said, like, that's the end of the trilogy. We told the stories, like, we're energized to tell and, like, you know, we're going to move on and do something different. And then this opportunity came up to do a VR game and it just felt like a great way to tell a Batman story, but in a completely different way, a really cerebral detective mode, detective driven story. Yeah. And really have to put the player right into Gotham, right into the Batcave, right into Wayne Manor, and tell a story from a different angle. So obviously things like move away from kind of the melee combat and straight into like, this is Batman analyzing crime scenes and on the trail of a serial killer throughout the streets of Gotham. Very cool. Yeah, I can't imagine that the freeform combat system <laughs> kind of works really well when it's just oh, me not, doing this it, in yeah. my house. <laughs> but, you know, obviously uh, you guys had, had laid the groundwork for these detective systems and these sort of, these sort of mystery systems within yeah. Arkham. Yeah. Uh, and obviously this gives you a great uh, ability to expand on that. But, you know, we do also want to be the world's greatest acrobat and the world's greatest hand-to-hand <laughs> -hand fighter. And we want to have the gadgets and stuff like that. So, I mean, I would imagine that we are going to see that stuff in some way. We have a selection of the gadgets. So you have, uh, you have the grapnel gun, so you can grapnel around, move around levels. You have batarangs that you can throw and you yeah. can kind of chain them together. And a forensics device, which lets you um, analyze crime scenes and manipulate reconstructions and look at those. Um, but we did definitely have focus more on unraveling this mystery. Sure. There are some kind of action sequences in it as well, but they're more uh, kind of about Batman figuring his way out of death traps rather than sort of getting into fights. Nice, I yeah. love that though. Cool. That's so cool because it really is letting you guys uh, sort of focus on dis different aspects of the character now, which has got to be fun for you. I, yeah. Are you attacking this? I know this started for you guys as kind of an experiment yeah. just to kind of play around. What, what sort of scope are you thinking about taking with it? You know, I know you're just showing it for the first time. Well, I think one of the exciting things is that it's, it's a VR game. Like, it's not another game that we made that we stuck a VR headset in. So it's a game designed literally from day one, minute one. This is a VR experience. So it's completely about leveraging what's completely unique about VR, that sense of presence and being, and then applying that with Actually, you're not just in this environment, but you're Batman in this environment. That role player becoming Batman is what, it, it's a really weird experience because it isn't just VR, it's VR plus Batman, like, yeah. which was, you know, as soon as we started to do it, it's like, wow, this feels really special to be in that environment and become Batman. Yeah, of course. That's so, like, I'm gonna put on a helmet and I'm gonna be Batman. Yeah. And you're doing that. It's That's weird. awesome. You know, we start <laughs> off, Alfred walks over to you and speaks to you, and it's like, wow, here I am, here's Alfred, I'm in Wayne Manor. Um, oh. it's, it's really, it's surreal, you know, and it's so, VR is so I powerful. it's gonna feel right. <laughs> you know what I mean? On a certain level, this is going to feel right to me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think you feel like that's the feedback we've got of players, which is great, you know? And we've got it here on the Sony booth, and people are playing it here, and it's just that feeling of, you know, even when they take the headset off, it's like, all oh, right, I'm back to being me, because I, I was just Batman. Like, 15 minutes, I was Batman, and now, oh, now I'm just me. So. Post VR depression, that's I think right, it's yeah. going to be a real thing. Yeah, I think you're It's right. going to be a very real thing <laughs> that we're going to find out about in 2016. Cool. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so I got to know, you know, this was just announced. 
Yes. Do you have plans in terms of, of timeline, in terms of release? Do we know when we're going to be putting the helmet on? Yeah, so we're going to be day one. We've been working on it for a while. Wow. So yeah, we're, we're day one uh, with the PlayStation VR headset. Obviously, we're exclusive to PlayStation VR as well. So we're really looking forward to that. Really excited to be on the platform, partnering up with Sony. Yeah, super excited. So That's, that's amazing. Great. I cannot, I cannot wait. I literally have been waiting my entire life for this, Sefton. <laughs> so I, I guess I can wait a little longer if I have to, but I'm not happy about it. <laughs> it's kind of interesting <laughs> you say that because like we have Jim Lee uh, today play through. He's played through before as well. And, um, you know, such a kind of iconic member, created so much iconic Batman imagery. And for him to actually become Batman, you know, it was really... It was great to see that, and he was kind of quite emotional to actually get to be Batman, like we all are, you know? Like, that everyone kind of wants to be seal Batman. Of approval so, to yeah. get, man. If you're going to get anybody, Jim Lee's the guy. Yeah, it was awesome. It's so, so such an honor for us to him to sort of recognize it, and Jeff Johns as well. Oh, no so, way. Jeff Johns went in there yeah, too? Yeah, Jeff Johns played it uh, a little while back, and, and basically he put it on. He was kind of in a rush. It was quite a very quick story. Jim Lee was playing it, he yeah. saw it, and Jeff, Jeff came in. And he's like, I've got to go to an eating. And Jim just said to him, look, you've got to put this on. Like, even if you just put it on for one minute, you've yeah. got to put it on. And Jim, Jeff was like, I've got to go to an eating. And Jim said, like, just put it on. So he put it on. He played it for half an hour. <laughs> and just for the whole time, he was like swearing. Like, oh, my God. You know, just swearing. Like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is amazing. So, yeah, it was great. It was great. I mean, it's a real seal of approval for us because we're huge Batman fans. And the people we, you know, want to love it are the Batman fans to yeah. so really feel like we've done the character justice. So to get that from those guys was really special for us and the team. Ah, oh, that's amazing. So yeah. they're going to be there. Batman Arkham VR is going to be day one on PlayStation VR. Sefton Hill, thank you so much for coming by, cool. man. Always a pleasure talking Thanks, to you. Thanks. PlayStation.